So yeah, you also want to get the first waypoint that's actually in that cone, or whatever you want to call it, that three degree cone, the glide slope localizer path thing. So Okay, they don't have that waypoint, but I know of a waypoint that is very, very close to that, so I'm going to use that instead. There. Now I just wait until I reach Big Sur. Alright, we are now about seven minutes away from the first waypoint before our descent. Um, now this wouldn't be normal to do, but I'm going to start reducing my speed now, down to 250 knots, because the 737-300 tends to, tends to descend rather quickly and will build up speed, and I don't really want it to build up all that speed, so I'm going to bring it down now, even though it's kind of early. And it's going to slowly lose its speed until it gets down to where I want it to be. Yeah, the flight dynamics model seems to lack, seems to lack some drag. I haven't updated it. Actually, never mind that. I'm going to keep it at 310. Whoops. I'm going to bring it back up to 310 because I forgot to descend so quickly. It, al it can also slow down pretty quickly too, so when I need it to slow down, it'll slow down. Now that I'm about a minute away, I'll begin my descent, or uh, I'll begin to slow down for the descent. As you can see, descending at about 2,000 feet per minute, the 737-300 seems to be unable to lose speed to slow down below 270 knots. This is okay though, as the ground speed will continually decrease as I descend. It's preferable to not have cats on your lap while you're trying to land, too. We are now descending through 18,000 feet. Typically, you check with ATIS or simply go to an environment, weather conditions, to find out what to set your altimeter to, as to whether it would normally be different from where you started from, and you would have had your altimeter set to 29 or 9 or 2 once you had ascended through 18,000 feet. Um, but I'm not going to bother with that since I already knew what it was going to be and I already said it, even though that doesn't matter since the autopilot doesn't use it. Some planes do use the altimeter, so you m it's good to practice setting that up. Now we are just about at Skunk and I am at six, um, descending through 16,000 feet. Um, so no, we're not going to be there at, at 12,000 feet descending at this rate. But if you look at my when I'm going to reach Octu at that at this rate, I will be at the altitude I need to be. So it's not an issue. It may be in at other airports though. So typically, for to be realistic, you would do a holding circle while you're descending, like a holding pattern as you descend. As I am no longer under any speed limit other than the maximum 250, I'm reducing my speed to 130 knots. Not quite fast enough though, as I have missed one of my waypoints. Kind of late to go back for it now though, so this is going to have to do. 
Actually, I'm going to make that 150 knots. As your speed drops, you're going to want to start using flaps to keep your speed down as you descend. So, one at 240. And 220. Two hundred half laps, gear down. One ninety. One eighty. And one seventy.